Hey everyone and welcome to the 12th video in this tutorial series and in this one we're going to be making the power up icons for our game. Now in this episode we're only going to be using Photoshop Creative Cloud but there are some free alternatives such as GIMP. So let's not waste any time and go into Photoshop now. Okay guys so we're in Photoshop and the first thing we're going to be making is our no cooldown power up and the icon is going to look something like this. So the first thing that we're going to do is make a new document of course and I'm going to go with 4096 by 4096. Resolution is not supposed to really matter for um, uh, digital work, but I usually set mine pretty high. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is make a new layer, and in here we're going to, oh, I have my thing over here. Anyway, but um, so I'm going to hide this background, and I'm going to go and view my grid. So I'll go show grid. And I'll show you my settings for the grid. So if we go to Edit Preferences, Guides, Grid, and Slices, then for the uh, grid, I do mine every 25% just for this um, resolution. Obviously, you'll be changing it depending on what document you're doing. So for this one, that's what I'm going to have, though. So I'll hit OK there. And I'm going to go to our Circle tool, or Ellipse tool, and I'm going to hold Shift and Alt and hold Down so that the circle will grow from the middle and the dimensions will be the same. And I'm going to go about that big because it's going to have a black outline anyway. So now I'm going to select the entire thing by pressing, con uh, holding control and clicking on the picture there. And I'm going to transform the selection. So I should be able to hit transform selection after right clicking. I'm going to hold shift and alt again to shrink this thing and I want it about this big so I'm gonna um, yeah actually I'll hit delete here I'm gonna I'm gonna right click on this and then I'll hit um, rasterize layer right here I'm gonna delete that and now we have our outline for our clock shape so the next thing we want to do is go to our rectangle tool. Actually, I'm going to use the rounded rectangle tool. And right about here, I'm going to use our alt strategy. I'm not holding shift, though, because I don't want it to be a square. I want it to be a rectangle. So I'm going to go about this far down. And I might expand it a bit. So here, we'll go up here like this. I hit OK. And why don't we just duplicate this guy? Duplicate layer. OK. And we're going to transform him to rotate 90 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise, doesn't matter. Um, and now we have it over here. So it's something like this, but I feel like I want to transform it a bit more. So let me just... This will be the long hand, and the upper one will be the short hand. Um, so I applied that transformation, and I'm going to just look around here. I feel like this should be a little bit farther down, but I'm not quite sure. I feel like that's good. So the next thing we want to do is just create the outline for our clock. So over here I'm going to select, I think I'll just select all these guys and do this on the same layer. And we'll hit Control shift n and make a new layer and we'll call this one outline. And so what we want to do here is go to select and I'm going to hit modify and I'm going to hit expand and we'll go by like 50 pixels should work and yeah so you can see over here we want to drag our outline layer underneath all the other layers and yeah you can see we have selected everything underneath and a border around it so right now we're just going to select a black color and there you go fill that in and now we have our uh, no cooldown sprite for our uh, power up Okay, so I've created another new document, and for this one we're going to be doing our 2x multiplier, and we'll be doing our 3x in the same uh, part, because they're basically the same thing with different text and color. So it's going to look like this, and what I'm going to do first is go to our clock here, and I'll just copy, uh, not that, I'll just uh, hit, actually here, I'll pull this over. And then I'm going to drag these layers into the other document on my other screen. And now we have it hanging out over here. So we'll move it to the center. And yeah, right there. 
and we'll put this guy back in Photoshop. And I'm going to remove this middle outline, of course. And we're good. So now I'm going to go in here and type our text for our 2x multiplier. Actually, I want that to be the full thing. It's a bit bigger, and this one should hit it. There we go. So 2x, and actually, we don't need to do that. What you're supposed to do is just lower the text size. So I hit Control A to select all the text, and I'm just shrinking it a bit. And I'm using the hobo text because I just like the way it looks for power-ups, sort of cartoony and kind of upbringing. So that's all we want to do for that. So I'm going to select this now and click on here. And I'm going to just pick some light blue color because we want to be able to see it. It's going to have a black background um, at some point when we're making the power-up, like little coins in the bottom right. So let's see. About that color is good. Might be a little darker. There we go. And also, a little, we want to eye drop for this color. And for our ellipse, we want to paste that in there. Okay. And now for this guy, uh, we're gonna select him, and we're gonna do the same um, border uh, technique. So we'll go and make a black color. And oops, not that. We want to make a new layer, and then we want to put this behind here, or we can just put it in our outline layer. Actually, that would've been smarter. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, there's our two x multiplier. All right. I guess I should say two times. And to turn this one into our three times, let's just make a new document here. So I'll hit Control N. 4096 by 4096 and okay I'll hide this background Oops. anyway for our so and I'll pull this one over to the side and then we can drag all of our layers into here and then this guy can go back in Photoshop and for this one we'll move you to the center as soon as we can find the center. Alright, that looks almost right. Something like that. And so now we can basically just change this to a 3. And on our outline, we want to obviously get rid of that. So I'll just delete the entire outline. And then, well, there's always the option of just deleting that by using the magic wand tool. And then I can go to our 3x and follow the same expand technique. So let's go to select and then modify and then expand by 50 pixels and paste in there. The only problem is that the 3 is a little big, so I'll move these over a little bit. Which means that I'll have to delete this x as well. On the outline, I'm going to select outline magic wand that and then that'll be good so now we can actually do the right thing here expand that and our outline will paste here and we have a 3x multiplier but the only problem is we want to change the color so we want this to be red it's something like this red because I want it Again, I want the colors to be visible because at some point they'll be on a black background. So we want them to be somewhat bright, but also vibrant. So now I'll go to my brush tool by hitting B and hold Alt. Use the eyedropper to select this color. Um, and then for our ellipse, we'll just put that in there, fill it. And now we have our three times multiplier. Okay, so for our speed ball power up, we just want to have a uh, lightning bolt shape. And what I'm going to do here is check where the center is. So this is the center and I basically just want to have a uh, the one point going right underneath the center to make it uh, sort of overlap when I duplicate these. And I think there is good. So I'll paste, uh, oh that's in the background. So I'm going to make a new layer here and I'll just put in some yellow, just filling it in. And then I'll hit Control C and copy it. 
and then if I just paste it, it'll automatically make a new layer. And then I hit Control T so I can free transform it. Now I'm just flipping it horizontally and vertically. And then I drag it down and we get a nice little um, lightning bolt shape here. And so the next thing that I want to do is just merge this down. And I'm going to scale this down by holding Shift and A, or er, and Alt, and then dragging so that it goes from the center. Because if I just held Shift, then it would go like um, about the bottom right corner. But we want to do it about the origin, so we'll just hold it like that. And I think about that is good. And here we're going to create a border. So we want this to be white, actually, so that we can see how the black border looks on a white background. So let me control and hold control and click on this to select um, everything there. And then I'm going to go to select and modify and expand. I'm going to expand by 50 might be too big. No, that works fine. So let me get a black color again. And in a new layer that's underneath here, we're just going to paste black. And then we have our nice looking lightning bolt shape. Okay, so now that we're done, you're going to want to save all of these under assets, resources, and then sprites. I've made the sprites folder here and you can obviously just make a new folder here and call it sprites. So in the sprites folder you want to save these and I named them like this just because I want to stay consistent with my convention. So we'll save this one as power up underscore 3x. Do the same with this guy. So I'll click on this and then type in a 2. And then over here, this is power up underscore um, no cooldown. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. But in the next one, we're going to be importing all the sprites into Unity with the proper settings. But make sure to leave a like if you liked and hit the subscribe button for the rest of the series. Thanks for watching.